This is an SOS call from the national capital. The air quality in the national capital has made sure that Delhi is has yet again been turned into a gas chamber. Currently, I'm reporting from Noida, which is known as a concrete jungle. And if I could just move out of the frame and try and show you the real picture. Today, according to the weather reports, today is a bright sunny day out here in the national capital. But you see, the entire visuals speak for themselves as you can see you can see in the visuals that it seems like it is an overcast day why is it seeming so because the smog has yet again engulfed the national capital the entire atmosphere of the national capital region which means that it is very very risky to even breathe out here doctors have already advised people from stepping out of their house if at all unnecessary and especially people with respiratory illnesses they should make sure that they stay within the limits of their house with air purifiers because yes the air that we are breathing in right now is nothing less than toxic over the next few days the EQI will remain in the in the severe category and probably will even get from bad to worse the main reason behind this is being said the wind speeds which are traveling from the northern parts of the India, from the northern western parts of India towards the national capital region and hence the entire smog and pollution that is uh, evolving out there comes out here in the national capital and actually stays here. It has been many years since we have been speaking about these uh, problems year in and year out but yes still as administrations, as, as governments, we still haven't been able to find any problem whatsoever. What we have seen is just political brain game shifting the goalposts from one government to the other. But yes, a permanent solution has still not been found this year as well. Over the next few days, the AQI is going to get from bad to worse and hence it is advised to people to remain very much within the limits of their house and that is the reason why the Delhi government and the in fact the Noida authority has also gone ahead and announced that all the primary schools will remain closed. But yes, the biggest question is who is responsible for this? Because this is not a natural disaster, this is absolutely, absolutely man-made and hence a man-made solution is required to tackle this problem. Over the last many decades, we have seen that many governments have come and gone. They have spoken about the uh, air quality and the kind of pollution that the people of Delhi are being forced to live in. But still, we haven't been able to find a permanent solution. What needs to be done is that all political parties now need to put their politics aside and sit on a table and make sure that the air that the people of Delhi and NCR are breathing, this air is not toxic, this air is fresh, because at this point in time, people of the national capital region are running from pillar to post just to get a grasp of fresh air. You be at any side of the border in the national capital region, be it Delhi, be it Uttar Pradesh or Haryana, this toxic air will continue to haunt you. Right now, I am in Ghaziabad and in particular, this is the Rajnagar extension elevated road and you can see the air quality and how this haze has engulfed this entire area. From where I'm standing, these high-rise buildings are barely visible and in fact this is a pictorial representation of how bad situation is in Ghaziabad as well. In fact talking about some numbers in Ghaziabad Loni remains to be the worst affected where the AQI levels are inching towards a 500 mark. In fact the overall AQI still remains in the very severe category because uh, the numbers which are coming in from Ghaziabad be it Indrapuram be it Vasundra be it Loni, the numbers are hovering around 450. So the situation is real bad over here in Ghaziabad as well. The prime example is to uh, what this situation does, what this uh, uh, haze does is it takes a hit on visibility too. In fact, you can see this very road and how uh, the visibility has gone down really bad over here at this very elevated road. Now different action plans have been implemented in Uttar Pradesh as well. In fact, all the construction work in the NCR region, including in Ghaziabad, have been halted owing to the situation in the national capital region. In fact, talking about the numbers here, as I told you, uh, uh, the numbers are hovering in the very severe category. In the coming days, it is expected that these numbers could actually go down further. Well, schools have been shut in these areas just to make sure that kids who are most prone to this uh, bad weather to be protected. But uh, these are all temporary solution. In fact, uh, every year, be it Delhi, be it Ghaziabad, be it any other area of uh, uh, 
Haryana like Gurugram, they all suffer from this very issue. Numbers are just giving us the picture of what the actual situation is. But when we are on ground, I can tell you that uh, you, wherever you go in the NCR region, you will feel that uh, uh, difficulty in breathing and also you will feel that uh, pinch in your eyes when you are walking or traveling in these regions.